Hello, my name is Emma Matthews and I am a canine hydrotherapist. I qualified as a hydrotherapist in 2015, gaining a level three ABC qualification in small animal hydrotherapy and registered with NARCH, which is the National Association of Registered Canine Hydrotherapists shortly after. Here at our centre, we provide pre and post-op rehabilitation we treat many orthopaedic conditions such as elbow and hip dysplasia, cruciate disease, osteoarthritis and patella luxation, as well as many neurological conditions such as spondylosis, degenerative myelopathy and intervertebral disc disease. We also have fun and fitness sessions, weight management sessions and we also teach dogs how to swim. I can see how taking your dog to the local river or lake can seem like the most natural way of introducing a dog to water, but not all dogs are natural swimmers. Some dogs take a bit more time and teaching to feel confident in the water. Although Newfoundlands are gifted with natural buoyancy, a dog learning to swim or an unconfident dog may need some added buoyancy to give a little support and stability in the water. This can come in the form of a life jacket or buoyancy aid. And if you're in a managed environment, like a hydrotherapy pool, they can have the support from a therapist, giving a helping hand through the whole session. Added buoyancy can also ensure that the dog doesn't sit too low in the water. This decreases the load on the limbs and makes exercise more comfortable. Puppies, learners, older dogs or less fit dogs may also struggle with the resistance of water. Resistance is the amount of force that must be exerted to move a body through a fluid at a given velocity. In a pool, we can manage the amount of resistance the dog has to cope with. Firstly, with a life jacket, so the dog doesn't have to pull its entire body weight through the water. Then with no jacket, having to move its own body weight through the water. And then jets can be added to apply extra force to swim against. Water resistance and the force to overcome it can be utilised for strengthening muscles and cardiovascular training. In open water, this cannot be managed and dogs can get caught up in a current that becomes too much force for them to swim against. This can make the dog tire more easily and then fatigue and panic can follow as they get taken further away from the shoreline. During a session in the pool, there is always time to rest and a safe platform to rest on. This is not always possible in open water. Dogs can get carried away with the excitement of the activity and then find themselves further away from the shore and from the rest that they want it to be. The surface of the water is the most viscous, the thickest part. Therefore, this is the most difficult barrier to break. This is called surface tension. Excess splashing is the breaking of the water and this can put added strain and stress on joints. This again can be managed in the pool with the help of a therapist. The therapist can help calm the dog if it is nerves causing the splashing or teach the dogs to swim with its paws underwater, limiting the amount of splashing. The viscosity of the water also has a stabling effect, which means it gives extra support to a dog that might find it difficult standing on land all the time. Our pool is a chlorine pool and we test the chemical levels three times a day and we have it professionally tested in a laboratory every month and it's cleaned every day. This ensures that we keep optimum disinfectant levels which makes it a clean and safe environment for dogs and for people. This safety cannot be controlled in open water and at different times of year in different water sources harmful bacteria and algae can grow which can be dangerous for your dogs should it be ingested and it can cause infections. Newfies have a natural insulation with their thick coat, so cold water might not always seem to bother them. But if you have an older dog, or a dog with a medical condition such as osteoarthritis, the cold water could have a negative effect on them. Hydrotherapy pools are heated between 27 and 31 degrees, and the heat, combined with the hydrostatic pressure from the water, can help reduce any pain or swelling in those affected joints. When going to a hydrotherapy centre, the therapists work as part of a multidisciplinary team 
working alongside your vets and any other complementary therapists that might be treating your dogs. This means that your dog safety is always put first. And checks are done to ensure that not only the centre is suitable for your dog, but the dog is suitable for the centre. We talk to the vets and discuss any precautions and contraindications for swimming. This means reasons why the dog not might be able to go in the water. For example, if the dog has a skin condition, this could be made worse by going in water or may pass on infections to other dogs who are using the pool. If the dog has heart or breathing problems, swimming might not benefit them because of the extra pressure of the water and this could cause them more issues. When treating dogs during rehabilitation, we must also decide whether the dog would gain more benefit from swimming in a pool or using a hydrotherapy treadmill. All qualified registered hydrotherapists should also be trained in first aid, so can act quickly should there be any issues. Hydrotherapy is a wonderful alternative to weight-bearing exercise. It helps speed up post-op recovery and helps to slow down the progression of degenerative conditions. It provides support and allows dogs to continue exercising while recovering and while nerve regeneration is taking place. It can be used where normal weight-bearing exercise proves difficult and the pressure on limbs may aggravate any condition. It can also increase muscle mass, improve cardiovascular fitness and increase the range of movement in limbs. It can help reduce obesity and improve physical and mental health and well-being and give a dog an improved quality of life. It is a wonderful thing to see a dog swim for the first time and an even better sight to see a dog's excitement and eagerness to get into water and enjoy themselves swimming. If you're thinking about taking your dog swimming, whether for the first time or the 50th, you could think about taking your dog to a pool. If you go onto the NARCH or CHA website, you'll be able to find a pool near you with qualified registered therapists. You might even be able to get in the pool and swim with your dog and have some fun in a clean and safe environment.